Hi everyone, today I thought I would make just a random casual video. As you can see, I don't have my normal background, I've no makeup on, I'm not even dressed, I'm just sitting here in my nighty. And that's because this video doesn't have an important subject. And sometimes I make videos and people will be like, there's more important things in the world. There's people that are dying in the world. And I'm like, calm down, right? Nobody's saying that this is a life all on video. I just wanted to make a video about it. So, calm yourself. When I woke up yesterday, I had a text from the bingo saying that if I went this weekend, I would get a free box of Galaxy Truffles. Now, at the time, I just opened that text and seen blah, 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 Galaxy Truffles. And I was like, Galaxy Truffles? Galaxy Truffles as in the Galaxy Truffles that used to be in celebrations? Oh my god, have they brought them back? I actually couldn't believe it. So I went online and I looked them up. And people were saying that it was the same Galaxy Truffles that used to be in celebrations. Just in case you don't know, they used to be in celebrations and every time I opened the box I was like, step aside, the Galaxy Truffles are mine. I don't care what else happens to any of these other sweets, I'm having the truffles. And then one day somebody bought me them for my birthday and I opened them up and I was like, Where's the truffles? And they changed them and they put Twixies in instead. Now, I don't discriminate against the Twix. I like a Twix, but it's nothing compared to a Galaxy Truffle. So then I was like, do you know what? I'm not even buying celebrations anymore. And as usual, I just decided to boycott them as I boycott everything. So as you can imagine, I was very excited when I received this text message. So excited, in fact, that I got out of bed an hour early just to go to Tesco to make sure that I got my hands on some Galaxy Truffles. The car park of the supermarket that I shop in was absolutely hoaching. So hoaching, in fact, that I had to get out at the entrance and walk over to the supermarket because the taxi couldn't even get in and it was just going to be quicker to walk. Everybody was freaking out. And they're all grabbing the pasta and grabbing the toilet roll and everybody's buying all the noodles and everything and I'm just strolling in like, any Galaxy Truffles? So lo and behold, all the Easter stuff was right at the front of the shop and I seen them from across the room and I just walked right up and grabbed them and I was like, oh my god, £3.50 a box, I'll take two. I was so excited about my purchase that I told the girl behind the desk that I couldn't wait to go over to work and try them because I hadn't had them for so long and they were so amazing. So here's what happened. I just decided to sit and make this video in front of my team leader. And she just sat there looking at me like I was a crazy person. But what's new? Everybody already knows I'm insane. This was me just preparing myself for the moment. Not sure. I already knew before I bought them that they were a different shape, but once I bit into them I seen that the truffle inside was darker. It used to be almost the exact same colour as the chocolate. Although this wasn't the worst sweet ever, it wasn't anything like what it used to be. The outer shell was fine, but the truffle itself was quite bitter and it tasted more like dark chocolate. They changed them. They actually changed them. There's been a petition to bring back Galaxy Truffles for years. And they changed them. There's people in this world who come up with genius ideas that nobody's thought of before. Like the person who thought of the KFC popcorn chicken pizza hut pizza. Now that person was sitting there and they had that idea, right? And then it came up on my screen and I was like, give that person a promotion right now. And then you've got the people at Galaxy who have got people signing petitions to bring back something that they love. And instead of just bringing it back, instead of just going... Oh, do you know what? There's thousands of people who want this sweetie back. They think, oh, I know what we'll do. We'll bring out a Galaxy Truffle sweetie, but we won't make it as good as what everybody was wanting. We won't make it the same. We'll just totally change it and just fuck everybody up. Now, in their defence, they didn't claim that they were the same. I mean, I hadn't even seen these advertised or anything until I got that text for the bingo. But you would think that even somebody with the smallest brain, the slightest amount of intelligence, who works for a chocolate company, would realise that there's a petition to bring out a sweetie and instead of bringing one out that's shit, they would bring back out the same one. I mean, if it costs more to make it, then just charge more. I'd have paid a five or a box. Do you know what I mean? Like, what is wrong with people? Why? Why do companies do this? 
We've already got companies like Kellogg's who take amazing Cocoa Pops, reduce the sugar by 30% and now they taste like shit. We've got McDonald's who take away caramel sundaes because they're claiming that they weren't popular. We've got Cadbury's who changed Cadbury's cream eggs, made them smaller and stopped making them with dairy milk chocolate, so now the chocolate is just disgusting. And now we've got Galaxy on Mars who had an amazing sweetie that most people loved and then they thought, oh we'll bring out Galaxy Truffles, everybody's going to love these. Easter's coming up, Mother's Day is coming up, I don't know if these came out before Valentine's Day right, but say Valentine's Day is coming up, we'll bring out an amazing chocolate, everybody will buy it. They could have just made it the same and they fucked it. And these are getting fucked right in the bin. So there you go, ran over. Well, I say the rant's over, but people that I work with going to have to listen to me rant about it for the next six months. As I mentioned at the start, this was just a casual video. Not worth putting makeup on for, not worth getting ready for. I just wanted to sit in my bed and have a rant. So, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you actually like these chocolates, then I'm happy for you. But honestly, I think they taste like absolute crap. Thumbnail! I should probably put a bit more effort in for the thumbnail. I've not even got a brow on right now. I'm sitting here with my nightie on and no makeup on. <sighs> Nobody's got to click on this video. This is where I have to decide if I want these to look good or bad on the thumbnail. I don't really like lying to people, but... <sighs> Do I look this bad in real life or is the lighting in here just really shut? Hmm, worrying. To be fair, these aren't the worst chocolates in the world, but... I'm in a bad mood that they're not as good as what I was expecting, so these literally are just getting fucked right in the bin. Goodbye.